Unreal Engine 5 is absolutely incredible rendering software that can produce film level quality renders such as lifelike landscapes, cinematic visuals and hyper-realistic scenes. While its advanced features are undeniably powerful, I found that as a small creator and entry-level hobbyist, navigating its vast potential can feel a bit overwhelming at times. So I decided to do this short tutorial and teach you how to make a stunning render with nothing more than a scanned object and few free assets on Epic Games Marketplace, which is now known as FAB. And the scan object was done using process called photogrammetry, which I explained a bit more in detail in my previous video, where I scanned a real-life sculpture of Nikola Tesla and 3D printed it. But here, instead of printing it, I made a visually stunning render with Unreal Engine 5 amazing features such as Nanite, Lumen and Movie Render Cube. Nanite is Unreal Engine's virtualized geometry technology that enables the rendering of incredibly detailed models with high polygon counts in real time, without significant performance loss. Lumen, a real-time global illumination and reflection system that dynamically adapts to changes in lighting and geometry, delivering realistic and immersive lighting effects without pre-computed data. And finally, Movie Render Q, high-quality rendering tool that allows users to export cinematic sequences with advanced settings such as anti-aliasing, motion blur and custom rendering passes for professional great visual outputs. So, if you are ready, let's dive into the process. But just to recap the photogrammetry process, the first step was to prepare the sculpture for scanning. Using a DSLR camera, I captured hundreds of photos from every angle, ensuring I had enough data to create a detailed 3D model. Lighting and consistency were key here, as shadows or uneven lighting could ruin the final result. Once I had the images, I brought them into Reality Capture, a photogrammetry software that converts photos into high-resolution 3D model. In my previous project, this was where the process ended. Since my goal was 3D printing, all I needed was high-quality mesh. However, this time I decided to take things a step further by utilizing Reality Capture's texture creation feature. This tool generates detailed photorealistic textures onto the mesh itself, capturing intricate details like subtle color variations, surface imperfections and unique patina of the sculpture. Now it was time for Unreal Engine 5. And this is where the real magic began. I imported textured 3D model into the engine, which was surprisingly straightforward thanks to Unreal's user-friendly import tools. Once the model was in place, I turned my attention to building the environment that would bring it to life and decided to use a free asset pack called the City Park Environment Collection. This pack was a lifesaver, providing a variety of detailed assets like trees, benches, pathways and foliage that perfectly complemented the mood I wanted to achieve. While initially I considered building everything from scratch, using this asset pack allowed me to focus on the creative aspects of the scene composition rather than spending countless hours modeling additional elements. The assets were easy to integrate into the engine and they blended seamlessly with the photogrammetry model. However, I wanted the environment to do more than just provide context. I wanted it to tell a story, inspired by the legend of Nikola Tesla's birth during a night of heavy rain and thunder, I aimed to recreate that dramatic atmosphere in my render. For this, I turned to the Ultra Dynamic Sky Asset Pack. This tool was perfect for dynamically simulating weather effects, including thunderstorm, rain and dramatic cloudscapes. With Ultra Dynamic Sky, I was able to bring the scene to life by adding a dark, stormy sky illuminated by occasional flashes of lightning. The sound of rain and distant thunder gave the environment an emotional depth that perfectly matched Tesla's story. The rain-slicked surfaces of the park reflecting the dim light added an extra layer of realism to the scene. I carefully synchronized the lighting and weather effects with the composition, ensuring the storm not only set the mood, but also highlighted the sculpture as the centerpiece. The interplay of light from the lightning strikes and the reflective rain-soaked ground made the scene feel dynamic and alive capturing the raw energy that Tesla's story evokes. The combination of the City Park Environment Collection and Ultra Dynamic Sky allowed me to craft a setting that was both atmospheric and deeply symbolic. It transformed the render into more than just a visual piece. It became a narrative experience. Finally, after everything was set up, it was time to bring it all together using the Movie Render Queue in Unreal Engine 5. This powerful tool allowed me to render the scene at the highest quality possible capturing every detail of the sculpture, the environment and the dramatic stormy atmosphere. Now, to be honest, the rendering process wasn't without its challenges. I spent many hours tweaking settings and running multiple iterations to ensure everything looked just right, from the lightning to the rain effects. Each adjustment brought the render closer to the vision I had in mind. And now, after many hours of hard work and learning, I'm thrilled to share the final result with you.
This project was an incredible journey, pushing me to explore new tools, refine my skills and bring the story to life through the power of Unreal Engine 5. It reminded me that even as a small creator, it's possible to achieve stunning results with persistence and creativity. Thank you for joining me on this ride. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more projects like this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.